Page 67. Exercise 5. Grammar focus. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. For since. For since. Keywords of the present perfect. For and since. Time expressions for the present perfect. For. I have lived in Cairo for 10 years. I haven't gone a party for a long time. She hasn't met her brother for 6 months. Months. THS sound month for 10 years for a long time for 6 months for plus the amount of time so after for the amount of time like 2 weeks a few months 3 months 2 months 5 months several years different years 4 years a long time, a short time, a long time, a short time. This is four. With, with four, you know the amount of time. You don't know the beginning of time when this happened. You don't know the beginning. Since. I have lived here since last so this is a year ago, we are now in 2016, so I've lived here since 2015. He has been, he has been at work since 9 o'clock, since 9 o'clock in the morning. They have been on vacation, they've been on vacation since Friday, today 26. So last Friday, It's 23, so they've been on vacation since Friday, since the 23rd of September 2016. Since plus the beginning of time. So after since, you have the beginning of time. Like 6.45, since last weekend, since 1997. Since high school, since junior high school, since elementary, elementary school, high school, secondary school, or secondary school, junior high school, prep school, elementary school, primary school, primary school, American British primary school. So after since, we have the beginning of time. This is why after since we have numbers like last weekend means the 23rd of, of September. Junior high school. I haven't met you since junior high school. 1996. Elementary school. That means 1993. Easy? Yes. Let's answer the questions of page 67, 4 and sense. C. Complete the sentences with for or sense. Let's answer the question. Pam was in Central America a month last year. Here we have the amount of time for a month. I've been, number two, I've been, being British, American, been. 
I've been a college student almost four years. Four years, the amount of time. Oh, I've been a college student for almost four years. L silent, almost. Four, American, four years. British, four, four years. Three. Hiroshi has been at work 6 a.m. This is the beginning of time. So Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Since 6 o'clock in the morning. 4. I haven't gone to a party a long time. Long time amount of time. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. 5. Josh lived in Venezuela two years as a kid. Josh, le Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. A kid, a child, for two years. 6. My parents have been on vacation Monday. So Monday, this is date. This is, I know now the beginning of time. My parents have been on vacation since, since Monday. Natalie. Natalie was engaged to Danny. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Four, seven, four, eight. Have been best friends? High school. This is the beginning of time. The beginning of time. Since high school. Again the answers. Number one. Four. Two. Four. Three. Since. Four. Four. Five. Four. Six. Since. Seven, four, eight, cents. Exercise number D. Per work. Per work, ask and answer these questions. How long have you had your current hairstyle? Your hairstyle. Current, it means now. I've had my hair, my current hairstyle, I've had my hairstyle for five years. How long have you studied at this school? I've studied at this school since 2016. How long have you known your best friend? I've known my best friend since since high school. How long have you been awake today? Awake, not asleep. I have been awake today for nine hours. Exercise number six. Pronunciation link sound. This is pronunciation link sound. Let's start to listen. Page sixty seven. Exercise 6. Pronunciation. Linked sounds. Part A. Listen and practice. Final T and D sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Listen again. 
Page 67. Exercise 6. Verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. In this exercise, link sounds. Final ta and da sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. What does it mean? Final ta and da, it means the letter T and D at the end of the word, like cooked. So we have here D. Tried. I have here D at the end of the verb. Are linked to the vowels that follow them. What are vowels? Vowels A, E, I, O, U. So you have here the verb and it ends with D or T. Sound, sound, and then we have here the beginning of second word vowel. A, E, I, O, U. So here we make a link. We do not stop. You make a link. You read the two words together as one word. As one unit. Example. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes. I've already cooked it. Cooked it. The D here, I pronounce it T sound. T. Y. Because we said, and before it, the sound of K sound, like cook. The K sound. The K sound, or the K, makes the D T sound. T. I read it as T sound, as T. Yes. I've already, already, L silent, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Cuban food, food from Cuba. Yes, I tried it. I tried it once in Miami. Tried it. Here this is D, the sound, tried. And I have vowel, I, you make the link, tried it. Don't say I tried it, no, this is wrong. Say, yes, I tried it once in Miami. I tried it. B. Per work. Ask and answer these questions. Use at in your responses. Pay attention to the length sounds. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes. Yes. I've already cut it. I've already cut it. T, soft D, Y. Cut it, cut it, okay, I have here the T between U and I, this is vowel, between two vowels, it's going to be soft D or fast D. T would be the sound, cut it. Have you ever test, tested it? Go cheese? Yes, I've already tested it, tested it. So here, going to be the sound, tested it. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes. I've already... I've already tried it. I've already tried it. Like here, tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Have you brought your dictionary today? This word, American dictionary. British dictionary. Dictionary. Dictionary, British, American, Dictionary. In English, we say Dictionary, Dictionary, British. Have you brought your Dictionary today? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I've already brought it. Brought it. The ta sound gonna be a vowel, gonna be da sound between two vowels, between the U and the I of it. I've already brought it. I've already brought it. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes. I've already read it. I've already read it. Read it. The sound. Not read it. No. Read it. Read it. I've already read it. Exercise 6. 
exercise seven. Listening. I'm impressed. Listen to Clarice and Carl talk about interesting things they've done recently. Complete the chart. So, Clarice, what have you been up to lately? Oh, well, I tried a new restaurant last week, the Classical Cafe. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's wonderful. The food is great and the prices are reasonable. But the most interesting thing is the waiters. They sing. The waiters sing? You're kidding. No, they're really terrific. I've got to go there. Yeah, you should, Carl. And listen again. Answer. The place. Where did she go? And why did she like it? What have you been up to lately? Oh, well, I tried a new restaurant last week, the Classical Cafe. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's wonderful. The food is great and the prices are reasonable. But the most interesting thing is the waiters. They sing. The waiters sing? You're kidding. No, they're really terrific. I've got to go there. Yeah, you should, Carl. And what? So Clarice, Clarice, where did she go? Where did Clarice go? Where did she go? Clarice went to the classical cafe. Classical cafe. Why did she like it? Why did she like the restaurant or this place? Because the prices are reasonable. Waiters sing. The food, the food is okay. So answer number one, Clarice, classical cafe, singing waiters, food is okay. Wonderful and reasonable prices, reasonable prices. Carl, let's listen to Carl. About you, have you done anything interesting lately? Oh, well, I went mountain climbing last month. Really? I've never done that. Well, I was in Switzerland. You went mountain climbing in Switzerland? Yeah, it was really exciting. Of course, it was dangerous, but I enjoyed it a lot. Wow, I'm impressed. Interesting lately? Oh, well, I went mountain climbing last month. Really? I've never done that. Well, I was in Switzerland. You went mountain climbing in Switzerland? Yeah, it was really exciting. Of course, it was dangerous, but I enjoyed it a lot. Wow, I'm impressed. Carl, where did Carl go? Carl went. Mountain climbing, mountain climbing, mountain climbing, mount mountain. Where did he go? In which country? Switzerland, Switzerland. Mount climbing in Switzerland. What did he like about it? It was exciting, 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 interesting, exciting, and he enjoyed it a lot. Exciting, he enjoyed it a lot. Again, the answers: Carl, Mount climbing in Switzerland, exciting, and he enjoyed it a lot. Number eight. Exercise eight: Word power activities. Find two phrases in the list to go with each verb. Add another phrase for each verb. Then write the past participle forms of the verbs. Here we have what? Different words and phrases. Phrase one or two words like iced coffee, herbal tea. And here we have some verbs. For every verb, the verb goes with two words only. 
So you choose. You write this. All of these words here. Yes. You complete the words and you write them for every verb. This is number one. Number two, what is the past participle of this verb? Climb, climbed, drank, 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 drunk. So the PP, drunk. Drive, drove, driving. The past participle, driven. Lose, lost, lost. The past participle, lost. Mess, messed, messed. The past participle messed with ed, but will pronounce the dah sound the d s t messed. Ride, road, ridden. Ride, road, ridden. The past participle ridden. Climb. Can I say climb a bicycle? No. So climb what? Be silent. Be at the end silent. Climb, hmm? climb a hill, climb, climb a mountain, climb a hill, climb a mountain. This is number one. Another word, climb a hill, climb a mountain, climb the stairs. You write another word here. Drink, drink. Hmm? Drink herbal tea, drink iced coffee, drink herbal tea, drink iced coffee, drink soda, drink cappuccino, drink soda, drink water, drink water, drink soda, drink cappuccino, drink tea, drive, drive. Drive a sports car. Drive a sports car. Drive a truck. Drive a sports car. Drive a truck. Drive. Drive a car. Drive a lorry. Drive a bus. Lose. Lose. Lose your cell phone. Lose your mobile. Lose your keys. Lose your cell phone. Lose your keys. Cell, E, A in American. Cell, cell phone. Lose your cell phone. Lose your keys. Miss. Miss an appointment. Miss an appointment. Miss a class. Miss. Miss, miss, a, miss an appointment, miss a class, miss the bus, miss the train. Ride, ride, ride a bicycle, ride a bicycle, ride a camel, ride a bicycle, ride a camel, like this picture. Ride a camel, this is camel, ride a camel. Ride a bicycle, ride a camel. Ride a horse. Ride a bicycle, ride a horse, ride a camel. Ride a camel, ride a horse, ride a bicycle. We wrote the verb in past participle and we wrote the words. Now, make a sentence. Your turn to make a sentence. Make a sentence. Say a sentence. Tell me a sentence. Climb. I've just climbed a mountain. I've just climbed a mountain. Drink. I've already drunk soda. I've already drunk soda. I've already drunk herbal tea. Herbal tea like green tea. 
drive, drove, driven. I haven't driven a bus yet. I haven't driven a bus yet. Lose, lost, lost. I have just lost my keys. I've just lost my keys. Right, road ridden. Have you ever ridden a camel? Have you ever ridden a camel? So, ride the past road. PP ridden. Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. In the pyramids, in Al Haram area. This is. These are the pyramids, and this is Al Haram area, for example. Yes, I have. I've already ridden a camel. Exercise number nine, speaking. Exercise nine, speaking. Ask your classmates questions about some of the things in exercise eight or your own ideas. Example A. Here you speak with your friend. Have you ever plus past participle? Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. Really? Where were you? And ask more questions. Example one. Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. Really? Where were you? I was in Egypt. I was in the pyramids area or Al Haram area. I rode a camel. I rode a horse. I had fun. I had fun in Al Haram area or the pyramid area. The pyramids area was great. It was a lot of fun. Exercise number 10, writing a letter to an old friend. Write a letter to someone you haven't seen for a long time. Include three things you have done since you last saw that person. Then exchange letters with a partner and write a response to it. In this exercise here, you just write, write a letter. Write a letter to your friend, okay, and try to tell him. What happened in your life? Example, Dear Hector, How have you been? We last saw each other at our, at our, T soft D between A and O in American, at our high school graduation, right? What have you done since then? I started college three years ago. I really like my classes so far. I have been on a girls soccer team for, for four years, for three years, and then you write more and more and more and more. This is going to be homework. Taking the risk. Look at the pictures and skim the interviews. Then write the name of the sport below each picture. So here we have different pictures with different pictures for different sports. So let's read and search for this sport. Taking the risk. Sports World Sports World magazine recently spoke with Josh Barker. Josh Barker, Lisa Skin, and Alex Costas about rescue sports. T sports. And I can make the T silent between two consonants. It's W Sports World. Josh. Wing suit flying is a dangerous sport, Josh. What do you enjoy about it? And have you ever had an accent? So it's called wingsuit. This is wingsuit sport. Josh. No, I've never been hurt. 
But yes, it's dangerous. Even for experienced flyers. Even for flyers who are professional. For flyers who have wide experience. I've been doing it for five years. But I still get a little nervous before I jump out of the plane. But I still get a get a little T soft D. That's the most dangerous thing. That's the most dangerous thing. Once I jump too fast and I started to spin. To spin to move in circles. To move in circles. That was scary. Scary. Frightening. But it's amazing to be able to fly like a bird. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to be able to fly like a bird. To fly like a bird. So this is Josh. And this is part of wing suit. Let's ask some question about this sport. Is wing suit flying is dangerous sport? Yes, it's very dangerous. What does Josh enjoy about it? It's amazing to be able to fly like a bird. He likes that he can fly like a bird. Has he had an accident? What's an accident? An accident, something bad that happens unexpectedly. No, Josh has never been hurt. For how many years has he done it? For five years. What is the most dangerous thing in the sport? Jumping out of the plane. Jumping out of the plane is the most dangerous. Sport World and Lisa. Lisa, you've been kiteboarding for years now. What are some of the dangers? What's kiteboarding? This is the sport of kiteboarding. This is a kite. Lisa, you've been kiteboarding for years now. What are some of the dangers? Oh, there are many dangers. When you're in the ocean, the conditions can be unpredictable. The conditions, the weather and the environment that affect someone doing sport. The weather and the environment the weather and the environment can be unpredictable. You cannot expect the weather. The wind can lift you up too fast and then drop you and then drop you against something hard like sand or even water. You can also hit another surfer. So the wind can carry you. Yeah, can lift you up too fast. And also, you can hit another surfer, another person who practices sport. You can also hit another surfer. But I like the challenge, and I like overcoming danger. I like the challenge. When you have a challenge, you have something difficult, and you want to overcome it. And I like overcoming danger. That's why I do it. I do it. What sound? Do it. Now, here in this paragraph, let's ask some questions. What are some of the dangers? There are many dangers in this sport. When you are in the ocean, the conditions can be unpredictable. 
The winds can lift you up too fast and then drop you against something hard. So in this way you can get hurt. You can also hit another surfer. Why does Lisa like the sport? Why does Lisa like practicing kiteboarding? Because she likes the challenge. And she likes overcoming danger. That's why she does it. SW Sports World The third interview, the third interview, Alex, have you ever experienced any dangers while ice climbing? Climbing, be silent, ice climbing, to climb, to climb on ice. Now, this is ice climbing. Alex, yes, absolutely, of course. When you're high up on the mountain, the conditions are hard on the body. The air is thin, and it's very cold. So the air is thin, there's no oxygen in the air, and it's cold. I've been some really dangerous storms. Maybe you have a storm. What's the storm? Very strong, violent wind. Strong wind. But the great thing about it is, how you feel when you're done. Your body feels good. And you have a beautiful view of the snowy mountain tops. Does Alex experience any dangers while ice climbing? Yes. When he is high up on, a, up on a mountain, the conditions, the weather, is very hard on the body. The air is thin, it's very cold. Maybe there are some dangerous storms. Why does Alex practice sport? Because he feels good. And he has a beautiful view of the snowy mountain tops. Now read the interviews, then complete the chart. You have the sport, what they enjoy, and the dangers. The dangers. And here you have the names Josh, Lisa, Alex. So you write the sport and what does the person enjoy and the danger that he or she faces. One minute try to answer along. Possible answers. 1. Josh. Sport. Wingsuit flying. Enjoy. Flying like a bird. The danger. Jumping too fast. 2. Lisa. Kiteboarding. Why? The challenge, overcoming danger. The danger, hitting another surfer. The wind dropping you against something hard. The wind dropping you against something hard. 3. Alex, the sport. Ice climbing, be silent, ice climbing. What they enjoy. He feels good. Beautiful view. He sees beautiful views. So feels good, beautiful view. The danger. Thin air. 
very cold storms. Seven, impressed, to cause someone to admire or respect. Eight, eight, exercise eight. Unit 10, interchange one, exercise eight. Climb a hill, climb a mountain, climb the stairs, be silent. Drink, drink herbal tea, drink iced coffee, drink soda. Drive, drive a sports car. Drive a truck, drive a car, lose, lose your cell phone, lose your keys, lose your glasses, miss, miss an appointment, miss a class, miss the bus, ride, ride a bicycle, ride a camel, ride a horse. Really? Wow! You're kidding! I'm impressed! 12, exercise number 12, unit 10, interchange 1. Take the risk to do something dangerous. Hang glider, a very small aircraft without an engine. Scuba diving, swimming underwater with special breathing equipment. Scuba diving, swimming underwater with special breathing equipment. Accident, something bad that happens unexpectedly. Upside, with the top at the bottom down. Challenge, something that needs much mental or physical work. Challenge, something that needs much mental or physical work. Lift through. GH silent. Lift through. Overcoming. Fighting successfully against. Fighting. T soft D. British fighting. American fighting. Fighting successfully against. Bubbles. Bubbles. Pockets of air. Pockets of air in liquid. British pockets. American pockets were in liquid. Rare, unusual, rare, unusual, rare, unusual. Explore, look around, discover. Workbook Unit 10 Jog, to run slowly. Jog to run slowly. Bungee jumping or bungee jumping. The sport of jumping of a very high bridge with a long rope tied to your legs so that the rope pulls you back before you hit the ground. Bungee jumping. The sport of jumping of a very high bridge with a long rub tied to your legs so that the rub pulls you back before you hit the ground. 6. Cable car which is moved by a cable and transports people up steep slopes. Slopes Brit American British slopes. Cable thick strong wire. Cable car which is moved by a cable and transports people up steep slopes. Oyster. Oyster, a sea creature that produces pearls. Oyster, a sea creature, American creature, creature, a British creature, a sea creature that produces pearls. Pearls, small precious stones. Pay the bell. Pay the bell. Pay pa pa sound. Pay the bell. That's the end of the workbook unit ten. Thanks God.
Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.